everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video with me Jessica Leo it's so great to have you here thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and thank you to all the channel members as well if you didn't know I do have a membership space on my channel and you can become a member for only 40 bucks 40 bucks uh, each month I would really really love it if you guys became members because there's always bonus content on there bonus vlogs bonus yada 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 yeah there's always something as you know I release two videos a week but if you're a channel member you get to see three videos a week so really really exciting times <clears throat> please do subscribe to the cho channel Choino Choino <laughs> <laughs> please do subscribe to the channel please do join the family and welcome to my second unpopular opinions video really really looking forward to it I've got a drink because I'm rewarding myself for filming all day and recording content all day and doing reels and doing pictures and doing all of that so I'm rewarding myself with a nice casual drink while I tackle these unpopular opinions and as you know this is not I'm just going to say this because I if you're going to be offended by what I say it's my opinion that's what it's about you might completely disagree with me but I know the last time I did this unpopular opinions video we all had a good time we all vibed out it was a good time it was a good moment so if you don't like the video from the first thing that I say you can feel free to not watch the video but if you're ready for us to go at it and go for one one another like we did with Kawe, Kawe, Kawe. Then let's go. Let's go for it. Okay, let's get into these unpopular opinions. For me personally, dating is a waste of time and energy. Now, some people enjoy dating. Okay, you enjoy being taken out, bounce, uloja is creamy, uloja discopa, uloja ko oram, and all of that. I, I get it. I completely get it. For some people, dating is fun and it's flirtatious and it's carefree and whatever. But for someone like me, I find dating extremely exhausting, a waste of time, energy, and a whole lot of makeup. Because all the time, I'm trying to wear makeup and look cute, and then I find myself sitting in really mundane, boring conversations. or um, sitting with people who are flexing all the time or really just for me I just find it to be a very tedious process especially when you're trying to get to know somebody so you can be in a relationship and whatever I just find it to be a waste of time and of energy and I know that I could be doing something better with my time but here I am sitting here and listening to this man tell me about his favorite soccer players or Formula One or that girls these days are problematic whatever I don't care <laughs> I really don't give a damn <laughs> I don't give a damn but this one's going to be a bit tricky Rockets Bryanston overrated for me it's just a tavern <laughs> that is located in Sentin that that's honestly what it is to me it's overpriced <laughs> the drinks are ridiculously overpriced i do not understand what is it it gets so crowded it gets it, like you're pushing you can go to so many places in Sentin, in johannesburg in gauteng that are great that have the same vibe where you can literally sit and be able to maneuver around people tables whatever without feeling like you're literally all on top of each other Rockets for me, Bryanston is very uncomfortable. I just feel like I could get pickpocketed. Go Rockets. Okay, I could get pickpocketed. I don't trust it. I don't trust the process of what's going on. Go Rockets. Man, I need to go pee. Now I need to stand in this long queue because I need to get to the toilet. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's highly overpriced. It really isn't as great as people make it out to be. Oh, no, we're going to be chilling out at Rockets. We're going to be hanging out at Rockets, whatever. No, just because you've got three levels and then the one at the top there is for people who want to buy bottles and this and... Um, Instagram is the perfect app to make you feel imperfect. It's a... Toxic AF. People can sit here and say Twitter is toxic, what, what, but Instagram is right up there. 
okay and we can all say that oh no you can choose what you want to consume you can whatever whatever instagram is the fastest way to make you feel like you are not doing shit in your life Instagram is the fastest way to make you feel like, oh my God, the whole world is prettier than you. Instagram is the fastest way to make you feel insecure about your body, about your life, about your relationship, about you, what you have, what you don't have, blah, blah. I find that Instagram is toxic more so than Twitter. And I know that this is something that, oh no, people talk shit on Twitter, whatever, whatever, whatever. But for me, because I'm a more visual person, I find that Instagram disturbs me a lot more than Twitter does. Sticks and stones break my bones. Words on Twitter, I read, I'm like, ugh, this person is full of crap. Move, move it along, whatever, whatever. But on Instagram, where I see what I lack, give on what I'm lacking in life. You know, you're sitting there and you're seeing... 25 year olds, you know, doing better than you. And you're sitting there thinking, yes, sus. And this person's body is just phenomenal. And you're sitting there thinking, yes, sus. It's, for me, it's the quickest way to make me feel like utter crap. That's why it, it just, Instagram is as toxic AF. Catch me outside if you disagree. It's not my, it's not my business. It's not my business. From okay. 25 upwards, woman to woman, altercations like physical fights and drama between two women over anything is just tacky like <laughs> nah i don't wait nah i can get or i don't care who says what from 25 upwards yes you can be petty yes you can talk shit yes you can do whatever but physical or scurry scurry oi oi what, what, I, for what? Who's got the time, the energy to be going up and down, fixing your nails, sorting out your makeup, your weave has now been thrown to the floor because, hey, when I listen to little Twarani, at 30, you still want to be living that kind of life? No, no. Which one is this one? No, we don't, we don't do that. You don't do that. It's just, I find it to be so tacky. If you can't get to a place where you can maturely sort out situations or disagreements with other women without having to catch hands. Be busy, hey, hey. And a lot of women say, yeah, no. If you know, hey, you're going to catch these hands, catch these hands. Listen, I can be petty in the sense, if you come at me, I'll come at you with my words. I don't dispute that. But hands, I don't have time to lay my hands on you. I used to do that when I was 22, 21. 20, like, I really, what, 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 but my ring is Dima. Hi, Dima, so guy, you're fighting on the street, the pen, the same way. Ugh. Let me tell you something. It's often the nicest people that are shady as hell. Shady as hell. You're sitting here thinking, yo, this girl is so nice. Yo, this girl is so friendly. Yo, this girl is so relatable. Maybe little Nam Shady is I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because y'all think I'll get that so nice. Maybe I'm shady too, chat. Maybe I'm shady too. No, I'm not. But you hear my chat. It's often the nicest people that are shady as hell. You know how they say it's often the people that go to church. Bailing by Hete need a West. They are the biggest hypocrites. Is the same in the concept of nice people. You see this person on social media. Oh, they're laughing. Oh my God. Hey guys. Hada, 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 hada. <coughs> Behind closed doors. Catch me outside. The things that that person says. Or the things that they come out of their mouths. Or they, you know, they're always projecting this innocent like. Come on, fail. Fail, 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 fail. And then you can even tell because sometimes they tend to lose it. They forget who they are. You're a public figure. You're busy here on the streets talking nonsense. <laughs> then you forget yourself. It's often the nicest ones. 
that are shady AF. And I don't care who says what. There are nice people who are nice people for just being nice people for nice times and nice people. Then there are people who are just shady. But they want to project this image online or towards others on the streets or whatever. It's not only social media or celebrities or whatever. Just randomly towards others as if they're these nice people. Can't come. Come. Silly. Mulum. Girls, girls, you guys forgive your men more than you do your friends. Better catch me outside because that is what I mean. You forgive your men who cheat on you, who embarrass you on social media, who run their mouths about you to their side pieces and talk about how, no, I don't love her. She's on my ass all the time and I really don't want to be with her anymore and I really want to be with you. She's crazy. She's lost the shit. Blah, 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 blah. I don't love her as much as I love you. You will forgive that person 10,000 times more than if your friend said something hurtful to you. And, and immediately apologized and said, no, you know what, Katla, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. Yes, or whatever. You are willing to cut your friend off. It's actually Zayshin, Ilian. Because in daughter is the, the hill you are willing to die on. Eh? Okay. That shit is crazy. I, I don't... Mm. Eh. So that is the, will, the hill you are willing to die on. And Dota is the hill you are willing to die on. Humona, shame. Tell the truth. You guys forgive. Hey, no, he won't. He said he won't do it again. Ow. He did it three times before. What's going to stop him from doing it the fourth time? But if your friend makes one mistake, one. Yeah, Vele, bring us. Bring us, Guti Vele. Vele, I'm tired. I knew. I knew Vela Guti, this one has something. I knew she was jealous of me. She was jealous of me. She always wanted to be like me. Ah. Lesele, lesele, lena, lesele. Forgive your friends before let someone tell you for kibana le muna. Here in daughter is the hill I'm willing to die on. How? Not me, cha. I could die on the hill of my friends any day. Mm -mm. No, no. Some parents are terrible examples to their children when it comes to people of the opposite sex. Some fathers are terrible examples to their sons when it comes to how to treat women. Some mothers are terrible examples to their daughters when it comes to how to treat men. Hona lady parents, it's a silly. I don't care who says what. Your mother will encourage you to be in a relationship with a man who's 40 years your senior just because. Just because that person is going to buy you nice things or help fund or help do whatever. They are willing to throw their own kids in the firing line. Your father will talk to you as his son and talk about, oh, but Saudi, hey, whatever, yeah, you must do, but you must be able to do things, hey, what, what. Some parents are toxic AF to their children, and especially when it comes to how their children should treat people of the opposite sex to them. Basile, 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 hunalibom me basileng. They might try to project this thing out, no, no, wanaka, hey, what, what. She's the one encouraging that behavior. She's the one sitting in the back and saying, who I am, then I'm, Yes, sir. Who's going to tell you what? When I do whatever you oh, are, Wamrat, then do it. Your own a mother doesn't care. Because you know why? Because you boost your mother with 10 tau each month. That comes from Mr. 40 years old senior. Catch me outside. I said what I said. I said what I said. Some parents are toxic AF and they know that they are. Ba 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 encourage a very, very fail behavior with their children. Fail. Fail. Now, to the donut lovers, nah. to the donut lovers, I'm gonna say this. And it gets about all right. Oh, love, what mommy and baby approve might be very mad that I say this, okay? To the donut lovers, Krispy Kreme ain't shit. Krispy Kreme can catch me outside. Krispy Kreme is not a good donut. I don't care who says what. They can dress it up, ka bawan, by dress it up, ka gold, diamonds, coal and pepper, salt and pepper. They can dress it up, ka strawberries and cream and whatever. Krispy Kreme donuts ain't it. Wait to rest, 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 before to rest, rest, rest. 
There are places, private establishments that sell even better donuts to Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme sells sugar and diabetes on a stick. That's, that's it. That's it. Even biting into it, you can tell her, okay, if fresh, but I know that bounce. It doesn't have that bounce that a donut has. It must have that bounce. When you bite it, then the part that's left on the donut must come back up. It must have that bounce to show that it's fresh and it's fluffy. And then they douse it in icing sugar and took it. But oh, Luna, the donuts are Krispy Kreme, ain't it? They, they, they crap. They crap. I don't care who says what. Yeah, you catch me outside. Give me Krispy Kreme donuts. You, you are just eating a sugar. You are not eating a baked good. You are eating a whole entire sugar. Why? Nope. Now this one. It's tricky, but it is what it is. It's tricky, but I said what I said. Okay? And it is what it is. You don't have to be practically naked to get attention, but evidently it seems to work. Okay, you don't have to be practically naked to make a statement, but apparently it seems to work. Okay, I don't know how, I don't know what. We can sit here and say, hey, this, hey, that, whatever, whatever, no. Hey, you don't have to be naked. You know, people must love you for who you are. You know, uh, people will gravitate to you when you're authentic and whatever. But let me tell you one thing for free about social media. You want to come up there and you want to show your boobs, child. You want to show your cleavage. You want to show your ass. You want to do whatever. That post, that whatever, will sell more tickets or get more likes and comments and put you on that explore page and do whatever, 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 more than any other selfie like this will get you anywhere. I can guarantee you, catch me outside for free. People can say, oh, no, no, we're in different times now. You know, your, your authenticity is what sells and whatever. Nah, buddy. Sex sells. Nakedness on Instagram. You want to show a little bit of your bum bum. You want to show a little bit of your boobs. You want to show a little bit of your whatever. That thing sells. That thing will move you. It will move you. <laughs> People center their whole content around looking sexy on Instagram and looking, showing ass and showing boobs and whatever, whatever. And if there you are, you've been on Instagram for five years and you're only sitting on 5,000 followers. That person's been on Instagram for five minutes and they're already on 367,000 followers. <laughs> well, my next point is anymore. You can catch me outside. I don't care who says what. Pineapple on pizza is a thing. I don't know if I said this in my previous uh, 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 unpopular opinions, but if I didn't, I'm saying it now, and I'm saying it with my chest. I'm saying it with my chest. Pineapple on pizza is delicious. There is something about the sweetness of the pineapple mixing with the savoriness of the cheese and everything else and the saltiness that's on the pizza from all the other ingredients like the bacon and the meat and whatever. And then all the pineapple le ham, le chuz on a pizza. Ah, oh, it's the one. It's the one. That is why even body twister and whatever. Twister with pineapple, it's the one. Hawaiian rounder with is the one. Anything that you just, that's salty or a bit spicy and you mix with sweetness. Yeah, pineapple. Ah, shame. Catch me outside. But on pizza, it's the one. So if you're going to come here and say, no, 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 no. You can go argue with somebody, just not me. <laughs> okay Kanye West fans Yeezys are ugly You can go and argue with your mom You can go and argue with your sister You can go and argue with your whatever Yeezy sneakers are ugly I don't care who says what None of them, none of all the versions That I've seen where I've been like mm, Yeah no 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 This one is nice, Yeezys are not nice they are not nice. Impitekiew. I and like I don't understand or and like kumkehela. Is it a sneaker? Is the running shoe? Is it a, a, a Jewish running shoe? Is it a techie with a platform? Is it I just don't understand what the fuck is going on with Yeezys. And they are not nice. That's as simple as that. The only thing I like about Kanye West and his brand is the fact that he uses neutral colors in a lot of the clothing and whatever. Mardi Yeezys! Catch me outside. How about that? 
You can be mad all you like and be like, hey, hey, da 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 da, college dropout me. I don't care. I don't care about Kanye West's musical career. But I can tell you one thing I care about them. Yeezys, I care not to care about them. I can tell you that for free. So there are these TikToks that make taking someone's man trendy. You know, we've now become a society where women are almost sort of praised or encouraged or supported or whatever when they make TikToks and videos about, yeah, that's nasty. Okay, like I don't, I don't care who says what. What is this trend that we are coming out with? This thing, Yoguti, taking someone's person is is okay. Whether you're taking someone's man, you taking someone's woman, you taking someone's them, it is not okay. That's tacky. It's really, really tacky, and people are doing TikToks about it, and people are encouraging shitty behavior and this and this and that. It's not cute. It really isn't cute. It th nothing about yeah. Yes, so so you got cheated on. Okay, Vanessa. Okay, Ditebu. Okay, so so eh, 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 Sipo. So Sipo cheated on you. But now you were so heartbroken and so torn up about it that now you're you're, you're encouraging this business of hey umuntum tola umuntu hey nakirikeni hey whatever how where. Ay, it's not cute. It really, really isn't cute. I don't care who says what. If you're going to be offended, click out the video. It has nothing to do with you. It's my personal opinion. Men have done it for a long time. Still not cute. Women have done it for a long time. Still not cute. There's nothing cute about it. But then to come and try and make it trendy? Yuck. By doing TikToks and memes and this and this about it, encouraging it? Yuck, sister. Yuck. Catch me outside. What is cooking oil? No, man. Mm -mm. Money can't buy happiness. Really? <laughs> money can buy happiness. Okay? My unpopular opinion is that money can buy happiness. Let me tell you something. I could be lonely. I could have people hate me. I could have whatever. But if I'm calmly monati, living in a mansion and driving my Bentley GT and being able to travel the world as and when I want, however I want, and this and that and the other, I could buy people to be my friends. <laughs> I could buy people to chill with me and like me even though when they personally don't like me but because a money. <laughs> money can't buy happiness. Really? <laughs> no, no. Personally, I think it can. I really, really think it can. I feel like the more money, the more money we have, the more problems, okay? The more problems, but I can tell you, I, I'm, I can tell you for free that I'll be living large and happy. On most days, I'll be happy. 95% of the time, I'll be happy. Then I'll have that 5% in Jingyana where I'm missing things like love and friendship and, and what, what, and what, what. Otherwise, it can buy all the sense of happiness. It can buy me my ass. It can buy me my body. It can buy me my life. It can buy me my traveling. It can buy me great cars. It can do... Money can buy me businesses. I can be a whole entire... Se what? Women spending money on their men is cool. I like seeing that. I don't see why it should be frowned upon. Women spending money on their men, buying them gifts, doing this, being chivalrous to their men. I find that shit beautiful. I don't understand why. It's like, ah, why, why melum tengele? Why is Why so? Why What is wrong with it? Why do we frown on women who treat their men? Like I was seeing something on TikTok about a woman who bought her boyfriend a car, a BMW or something like that. And people are like, what? No, what, what, what? But then society wouldn't be mad when the man buys the woman the car. I, I don't understand her. why is it an issue when a woman buys the man something nice or treats the man to something nice. I find that shit amazing. I really think like, wow, that's, that's amazing. How often are you going to see something like that? How often are you going to see a man, a woman spending on her man, spending her hard-earned coins on her man? Mm -hmm. 
without it being frowned upon. Why must it be frowned upon? Hey, little na le sale man. How? Why le sabato or le ba na ba bamba spoiliwe? Hey, but now it's just one of something nice. He always does something something nice for you all the time, Marwena. All you want to do is just be nice and give bums. <sighs> Savannah in the can, it's gross. I don't care who says what. Hey, Savannah in B. Kakening. You're one of the savvy in the can. I just. Mm, guys, he. He got the eyes so. He got the eyes so. He shot the left. It goes that way. I don't understand what I tried it one time because I went to a bottle store and there was no glass uh, savannas in the bottles, right? So I picked up the one in the can. No. And uh, one thing I will also add, which is an unpopular opinion. Yabona savanna chili chimichanga. It's better than savanna dry. Ah, you can catch me outside. It's better than savanna dry. It is so good. You now Alcohol is nice. So savanna in the can, gross. And Savannah Chimichanga, that's another unpopular opinion. Savannah Chili Chimichanga is better than Savannah Dry. You can go argue with your friends or your sisters or somebody and catch me outside because I said what I said. People who use their nice personas to control how people see them or how others see them or how others respond to them. A lot of people project this really nice persona to try and control how you see them. So me, as a content creator, I can project this really nice persona, really feel very, um, seem very soft-spoken um, when I'm talking, you know, accentuate my English, um, articulate my words very well, and, um, you know, just talk about family and life and religion and all of that to control how you see me wanna always make like I'm this nice peasant and whatever, Gandhi. It goes back to the point I was saying that it's always the nice ones, the nice ones to the streets that buhur mei tibomo, buhur mei tibomo. Wait, okay, okay. Coffee lovers, coffee lovers. Let's go. Seattle coffee is better than Starbucks. I don't care who says and wants. You can sit here and be the biggest fan of Starbucks. I'm not saying Starbucks coffee is bad, but I'm just saying the Starbucks coffee is not that great. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that Starbucks markets their, their overpriced coffee to, you know, it's got these flavors. It's the macchiata. It's the but the but the it's the uh uh now that we're in winter it's going to be the um uh, what's the cinnamon what what and the toffee lattes and the whatever whatever it's fine it markets their overpriced coffees by offering all these different types of coffees the cold brews the this this the double shots this 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 and then you go to Seattle and you have a cup of coffee at Seattle and you're like uh huh. So now I don't care who says what about what. Catch me outside. Seattle coffee will always trump Starbucks coffee for me. It's the facts. It is what it is. As a coffee drinker who's tried both of them out multiple times, Seattle will always be the first option I'll go for. If they're both available in a mall or wherever I'm at, I'll always go for Seattle first. Facts. Facts. Okay? Facts. <sighs> All I care about is money and who says El Nothing? Go argue with Kanye West or Jigga or Drake or, 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 or Lil Wayne or somebody, okay? I don't care who you want to argue with. Drake cannot sing. And he's having something is altered in the voice. Drake cannot sing. Drake can't sing. Nah, buddy. Drake can't sing. I don't care who says a what and nothing. Who says what? No. Three can sing shem. Ah, hey, hey, catch me outside. Three can sing. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ura ite na ngole di lyrics ita haya ite nga ite nga ite. That's it. And do his raps and whatever, whatever. Drake cannot sing.